I was in Iceland and I saw a brother and I gave him the nod. He did not give me the nod. And I have never thought less of a human being before in my whole life. I took my I family to Aspen nice um, for spring break last year. And that happened to me on two separate occasions. He looked at me like, oh, do I know you? It's me and him and maybe three other people who are not Why? working. So if I see you, brother, hey, hey, I don't know what we are communicating is I got your back and go down. I don't know what it is we're communicating. But hey, look me in my damn headlights, as my father would say, and give me <laughs> a head nod. My brother, it was very get out -ish. What's up, brother? And they just look at me like, oh, you talking to me? Yes, I'm talking to you. I need that cat to understand. We all we got. <laughs> it may not feel like that right now. We all we got. So they, 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 they one with the Iceland, one with the Aspen, and then they saw other black people and they nodded, and the black people didn't nod back. So they wanted to have some kind of uh, yeah, they're probably mad that they saw other sons there. I'm like, god damn, I got god damn, they Iceland, and here's another sun person. What the fuck? <laughs> Let's see what this guy got to say about it. This guy, he um. Kosher, lean on me like Bill Withers until you smell the roses. What's happening, fam? LAR movement still moving, man. Subscribe or die trying. You see the thumbnail. More importantly, you see all the clip. This, this type of shit to get on my nerves. See, you motherfuckers want to be in the whitest of whitest white places and then say, brother, brother, we here together, brother, brother, I'm not nice at you, brother, brother. I nah, you nah, because if this go left in, in this bastion of whiteness and whitetopia that I like to be around, you're supposed to nod back just in case we got each other's back, brother. No, 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 no. This, this is not a complaint to have, motherfucker. It's not. Because basically what you're saying is, let's just be honest about this. Think about it. I want to go around white people with white stuff. I got to go in the, the Iceland, baby. I got to go to the whitest of the white places, baby, because they, they got. I want to be around the beautiful white, the white stuff. Okay. I want to go to Aspen. I want to. I want to snow like the white people with snow and bring my family with the white people. I know black people ski. I get all that, but let's not bullshit. You want to be, you want to, y'all want to have y'all white fantasy. I feel white. I want to be in white, white land and feel white. And, and when I see another black person, I'm like, brother, we made it to white topia together, brother. Yes. Give it we to the man. To stand. And they go, man, what the fuck is you doing? Look, the reason I'm out here is the same reason why you out here. Cause I don't want to be around black people. And your black ass out here nodding me with this black shit. Act white. Why you here? That's what we have. That's what you came for. You came to act white. You came to feel white. You came to feel as free as the freest white person can be. Now your motherfucking ass want to be a goddamn civil rights activist. Shut the hell up. <laughs> <laughs> hey, listen, I'm glad he called them out on that shit, man. This is goofy shit, man. This is goofy. These are two ES. This is a sports show. This is these are sports um analysts. And this is what they're talking about. Fucking crazy. Police are investigating a fatal triple shooting that happened overnight at a West Philadelphia bar. The shooting resulted in the death of a 44-year-old man. Neighbors tell Fox 29 they've been trying to be a positive influence to those around them, and the shooting has them quite frustrated. Our Greg Payne spent the day in the community. Those living in that West Philly neighborhood are highly frustrated, especially since they say that there have been groups in the area that have been trying to promote positivity. At this point, that's all any of us can do is try to mm -hmm. shine some positive on all the negative that we wake up and face every day. And that's exactly what Robert